Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 193. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 185 to 202. Hey, the this video, 193, is going to be how to make a grade book. In fact, the next five videos from 193 to 197 will be about different grade books. Hey, we're going to start off with a simple one. We have some names. Uh, and we have max. So we have the max for each quiz is 25. The max for, e max for each test is 100. We want to add them up. And then we want to automatically assign a grade. Well, adding them up is easy. We're going to start with the max row. I put my cursor there. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. If you don't like keyboard shortcuts, there's home, that. Or you can find it in 2003, the uh, uh, auto sum button on the toolbar. The keyboard shortcut for auto sum is alt equals. It tries to guess, and in this case, it, it guessed right because the dancing ants are marching around the right number of cells. So I'm going to control, hold control and hit enter. Control enter keeps uh, puts the formula in the cell, but keeps the cell highlighted because if you're going to do something to the cell right away. That's convenient. And what are we going to do? We're going to point that little fill handle in the corner. And with our crosshair, that little crosshair that, or angry rabbit, you click and drag. Now I'm going to control Z. You can also just double click. And it sends it down as long as something's to the left. Now I'm going to come down here and make sure that I got it right by hitting F2, which is edit mode. And I can see that it got it right. Those are relative cell references. So it's always going to look at the cells to my left. Now, the grade, we need to use a VLOOKUP. Especially if you have a lot of students, you don't want to do this by hand. you got to set up, if you're going to use the VLOOKUP uh, function, which will do just what we do in real life. Uh, let's say we're here and we want to get this person's grade, 209. Well, we take that in our memory. We go over to the first column. We go down. And when we bump into a value that's bigger, 244, we have to go back here. And they're going to get assigned an F. That's how we do it, which that F will be deposited back here in that's this cell. How we do it, humans, by hand, is the same way the VLOOKUP does it. Now, something important about this, it has to be the first column has to be sorted in ascending orders from smallest to biggest. All right, let's see how the VLOOKUP works. I'm going to click right here and type equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Now, there are four arguments. We only need to, one, two, three, four. We only need to use three of them. Now, just as humans do, the lookup value is what we want to look at. So we'll click right there. And then we'll type a comma. The table array. Hey, you got to tell uh, Excel where your grades are, where your grade table is. So I'm going to highlight this table right here. Notice this formula is hanging out over there. There's uh, So I started down here in this corner and went up. I can kind of see the dancing ants right there. Now, this table, we don't want to be a relative cell reference. So we need to lock it. So I'm going to hit the F4 key. That puts dollar signs in front of the column and row references and locks it. So when we copy it down, it will always be locked looking at that table. Now, that's the table. Remember, just as in, in uh, real life, we take that value, we look down this first column, we go to the second column, we get that value, and put it back into the cell. So that is the lookup table that every cell will use as we copy it down. Comma, and the column index. This just says, if I'm looking up in the second column, you have to tell the VLOOKUP to go over to the second column, and that's where the thing is that you want to put back in the cell. So I'll put 2, which means second column. Now, this final. Um, argument here, if I type a column, it gives us the option for approximate, which is, we, what, which is what we want, because we have huge gaps between a, a range of values for getting a, uh, a particular grade. If it was words you were looking up, then you, or an exact number, you'd look up uh, exact match. But we don't, we don't need to put this true or one, because by default, VLOOKUP will use that. So I'm going to backspace. We don't need it. Close parentheses. Control Enter. And then I'll double click and send it down. And sure enough, uh, we had a pretty bad semester here with that many Fs. All right, that's a basic grade book with VLOOKUP. When uh, we come back in the rest of these videos, we'll see uh, weights and subtracting the minimum and all sorts of different variations. All right, see you next trick.